we've now got our form nicely showing off to the right hand side of the screen. Let's continue working on the form and make sure that anytime someone enters in a number here and click on contribute, we actually call the contribute function on our campaign contract. Now the internals of this form is gonna look nearly identical to the form that we've already put together to create a new campaign. So we're gonna to want to have our button show a spinner as soon as a user submits this thing. And as soon as the user submits it, we also want to call a function on our contract. So we're really gonna be doing the same exact thing once again. So back inside my code editor, I'm gonna find my contribute form. I think a good place to start will be to handle our input. So anytime the user enters some text into the input, we wanna take that value and store it on our state object. Let's first get started by initializing our state object. So at the top, we'll do state, I'll set up a new property that I'll call value, and I'll set it empty or equal to an empty string. We'll then set up a couple of on change handlers inside of the input, and we'll also set up our on submit on the form as well. So on the input, I'll give myself a little bit of space. I'll say that its value is gonna come from this.state.value. And then anytime someone changes this thing, so on change, we're gonna call this arrow function that we'll just pass directly in. So we'll say event this.setState value is event.target.value, like so. All right, so that looks pretty good. So next up, let's make our on submit handler for the actual form. So we're gonna say that anytime someone submits this thing, let's call a function called this.onSubmit. And as a reminder, we're not gonna place the parentheses on here because we don't wanna call this at render time. We wanna pass a reference to the function. So we can call it at some point in the future. Then let's make that function right away. So onSubmit, remember this will be called with an event object. And we need to call the prevent default function on that event object to keep the form from attempting to submit itself. All right, so now inside of onSubmit right here, we're gonna do all the same exact logic that we were doing before on the last form. So we want to flip some loading flag over to true so we can show a button on or a spinner on our button. And then we're going to want to take our campaign contract and attempt to send some money to it. So let's start taking care of those steps in the next video.